Apple announced the other day they're giving lossless audio to everybody who subscribed to Apple Music. The only problem is lossless audio is not... Um, uh, you can't listen to lossless audio on the AirPods Max or any of the AirPods or any of the audio devices that Apple sells. And I know that a lot of people who listen to music through Apple Music use Apple devices to do that listening. So... First off, you may have not heard what lossless audio is before Monday, right? So what is lossless audio? Most of the time we listen to audio in the digital realm in some kind of compressed lossy L-O-S-S-Y format, like an MP3, an AAC, something like that. Those are the formats that are compressed and some of the bits and bobs go out the door so that they can make it small enough to go through the Bluetooth uh, and into your ears. Well, lossless audio is much, much larger. It's kind of like Bluetooth is a small pipe and lossless audio is a big pipe. And you can't play lossless audio through Bluetooth. So a lot of people have now been asking me, Jason, okay, I can't listen to lossless audio with my AirPods Max. So what, what are some suggestions for what I'm going to use to do that? Well, today I have a bunch of suggestions for you. So let's Let's just get right to it. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts if this is your first time here. Thanks for stopping by. If you've been here before, please hit that red button and stuff and come back and see me again. It will be uh, There's going to be all kinds of new audio stuff and Apple-related stuff coming to the channel. So if that's something you're interested in, this will be the place that you want to go to. Otherwise, let's get straight into the business of the video today. Now, I have gone through and I have made a kit, uh, which is basically a listing of some headphones and some other and some digital audio converters and amps that I think are worth considering. And they are in different price ranges for different people. It starts out relatively cheap. It can get kind of expensive, but if you love music enough to want to check out Lossless Audio, then maybe it's worth uh, digging into some of this. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever or, you know, just anything at all, do hit me down in the comments below. The link to the kit will be uh, it, right there in the description below as well, so you can get straight to it and go shop for the stuff. But without further ado, let's get into the list. So here we got Jason, Painfully Honest Tech, Apple Music Lossless Audio Beginner's Guide. Uh, this is what you need to get started. So we have, like I said, a listing of some headphones. These are some amps and some DAX. DAX stands for Digital Audio Converter. Amp, of course, is amplifier. So most of these things are two-in-ones. We, we have a couple of relatively inexpensive ones. We get up to some that are kind of expensive. First, let's go ahead and talk about the headphones. You see here we've got the Philips Audio SHP9500s. And uh, if we click over to their Amazon listing, you'll see that they are... $73.63 on sale. Uh, that's a really low price. That's a really low price. And you might be thinking to yourself, like, how could I possibly uh, get anything worthwhile out of these? Now, these are not audiophile grade headphones by any stretch of the imagination. But the thing about these Philips is they sound better than they have any right to sound. So if you just want to dabble in the lossless audio, if you want to check it out and you want to get into something that's a little bit less expensive, but still sounds really good, the Philips SHP 9500s are a really, really great place to start. So I recommend going over here and checking them out. As you can see, 5,900, almost 6,000 ratings, and they are um, four and a half stars. So that's, that's good. The next that we have here is the Bear Dynamic DT 990 Pros. Now, most of these headphones, in fact, I think all of these headphones are open backed. Now, these headphones that I'm wearing right here, these are the Bear Dynamic DT 770s, and they are closed backed. The difference is open backed is, is sort of vented, so sound can and air can go in and out of the headphones themselves, and that does give you a better sound stage, that does give you a more spatial placement of the music when you're listening, whereas closed back headphones are still capable of sounding really good. Still, you know, these are fantastic headphones. I like them a lot. 
but I use them when I'm recording so that I don't have anything bleeding out of my headphones and into the microphone and that kind of thing. Uh, so most of these are open backed headphones that you can use to enjoy your audio file goodness. So the Bear Dynamics are a little bit more pricey at um, $159 and I have the 250 ohm version here. Now, <clears throat> the ohms rating for a set of headphones is difficult to explain, but the easiest way I can think to explain it is to say that the ohms rating is the, the sensitivity that a pair of headphones has in terms of how much power it needs to be driven to produce sound effectively. Okay, so the weird thing about the ohms rating is the lower the number, the more sensitive the, uh, the whole thing is. So you end up, you know, being, if you have a 16 or a 32 ohm headphone, then they're be driven by anything. 80 ohms could probably be driven by just about anything. 250 ohms, that's where you need to get into an amp or a DAC or something like that. And I've got amps and DACs on this list, not only because they can more effectively drive these better sounding, more sensitive headphones, less sensitive headphones, I should say, not only because they can drive these headphones, but because most of pe most people who are trying to listen to hi-fi audio these days who aren't, are new to the whole thing, aren't gonna have anything with a headphone jack to plug into it. And this is the best way to possibly get the right kind of conversion. The digital to audio conversion is what really makes the sound come through. So. That's why I'm recommending amps and DACs along with these headphones. At 159, honestly, these are fantastic sounding headphones for $159. And you can get them again in the in the 80 ohm and the 250 ohm. I would recommend if you want to have like a really good listening experience the 250 ohm because the more power you put into a set of headphones, the more it's going to uh, it's going to improve the sound. It's it's I don't want to go deep into the weeds about why that is, but suffice it to say, the less sensitive headphones have the potential to sound better. Okay, so that's the DT 990s. Once we now we get over into into here, and I put these, the Drop Hi Fi Man HE 4XX on this list because they are different than the other headphones on this list. Okay, they are planar magnetic headphones. And it's hard to explain planar magnetic. If you if you know anything about microphones, you know there's like a ribbon microphone that basically it's like a, a little metal corrugated sheet in there that vibrates back and forth. That's what creates the sound. Planar magnetic headphones work on a similar principle Instead of having speakers like normal headphones do, like the ones that we've already talked about, planar magnetic headphones are a little bit more, they have this, this, um, this magnetic plate with current running through it. It's difficult to explain, but the sound signature of them is very, very different and very, very good. And these Drop Hi-Fi Man HE4XX are very, very good at giving you a, an idea of what planar magnetic sounds like. It is a much less aggressive sound. It's much more full and warm in my experience. And uh, it can be just really enveloping. So the Hi-Fi Mans here are only $180. Again, they are fantastic headphones. I have these, I have, uh, I have versions of all of the headphones that we're talking about here. These Hi-Fi Mans are very special very special headphone and I would recommend if you want something that's a little bit different than your typical listening experience, check out the Hi-Fi Mans because they are certainly worth checking out, okay? Uh, so now let's move back and we'll talk about the Sennheiser Pro Audio HD 650 Open Back Professional Headphones. I say here in my description, buy these headphones and you will never need another pair of headphones. There are... <laughs> There are headphones and microphones and, and certain pieces of audio equipment that once you get that piece of audio equipment, it becomes like a forever piece of equipment. It's well made. It sounds great. You get into that territory where it's not that it's it can be bested by other stuff. It's just that on its own, it creates a really great sound. Now, others might, 
you know, spend a lot more money and get better. In fact, there's, you know, $2,500 versions of this line of headphones, the HE 800 or the, the HD 800s, etc., etc. Those things can go up to $1,200, $2,500. But the HD 600s and the HD the HD 650s and the HD 600s, which I have, are, to my mind, unless you're going to spend thousands of dollars, as good as you're going to get. So let's click over and take a look at those over here on Amazon. You've got $4.99. Now, that's not as much as a pair of AirPods Max, but I guarantee you this plus a, a good quality DAC, which we're going to talk about here in just a second, will get you lossless audio joy, joy without any stretch of the imagination. And you will be happy and you'll be just joyous over the whole thing. So it's, I don't like to give promises, but I promise you, if you buy these headphones and you pair them with a good DAC and amp and you listen to Apple lossless audio when it comes out in June, you will be a happy camper. Okay. That's, that's just all I have to say other than going into a full review of the headphones, which I can do if you want. I did, re I did review the HD 600s that I have hanging up over on my wall over there. But you know, these things are, uh, are absolutely the, the, the top of the line in sort of the low mid range of audiophile headphones. Now I only put four headphones on this list and partially that's because there are so many different headphones that have so many different features and so many different kinds of sound signatures and, and all that kind of thing that it would be impossible for me to list everything and, and be completest about this. Although I, I can over time sort of give you more and more, if that's something that you want, let me know down in the comments. What I tried to do was give you a breadth of price ranges as well as a breadth of sound signatures and styles of headphones that you could use. Now you might be wondering like, well, why are all these wired headphones? Well, the thing is like the what the reason that the AirPods Max can't reproduce the uh, lossless audio is because they are digital wireless headphones. Even if you have the $40 uh, 3.5 millimeter to lightning cable, it will sound better and you'll be getting closer to the lossless audio sound, but there is a digital conversion that happens in there that downsamples higher stuff to 48 Hertz. Uh, so if you're listening to something that's 24 bit, 192 Hertz, you're being downsampled and that's no longer lossless. So that's the end all be all. If you have another pair of headphones, that's just straight wire, like they become regular headphones when you plug a wire into them, then those would probably work well also, but I gave you my sort of favorites in a bunch of price ranges right here. So now, now let's go ahead and get into the DAX. So here we have the FIO or FIO. I never know how to say this. The FIO E10K. This is Amazon's most popular uh, choice here in headphone amps. It is an amp and a DAC and it is $75. So again, if you pair this with the Philips that we talked about earlier, you're looking at $150 plus tax to get into audiophile territory. Again, this is the very low, low, low entry point, but you will be able to get a sense of what hi-fi audio is really about. These th this is portable. It's easy to use. Yeah, it connects to your laptop via uh, micro USB, and then you're you're good to go. The next one I have on here is the iFi Hip DAC. Now I've reviewed iFi DACs in the past, and I am a big fan of iFi DACs. So not that one. And this one has a lot of features for just a little bit more. Well, twice the money of the uh, the Fio, but I really like the features that it offers, and it's portable as well as desktop available. So this thing is small and you can use it and it's both an amp and a DAC. It says here that it's gonna give you, you know, Spotify uh, title, MQAs. They'll update this, this, this description to talk about Apple lossless as well. Uh, you just connect it to a USB input and away you go. So if we look here at the backside, you see that there's USB-C and USB there. 
Now, the next one that we're going to talk about has something that might be incredibly important to you in terms of getting these more mobile versions to work for you, okay? And this is the AudioQuest Dragonfly Red Mobile Bundle. So it gives you the Dragonfly, which this is a tiny little USB uh, amp and DAC. You plug your headphones into the bottom end, you plug the USB portion into the top, and then... You know, either it goes straight into your computer if you have USB ports, or what I have here is the lightning cable that you can get, a dongle from Apple that has a USB port as well as a lightning port. And so you would plug this into the USB port, and then you would plug your headphones into this, and then you would plug your the, the whole kit and caboodle into your phone and it gets you hi-fi audio from your iPhone, your iPad, your iPods, what, whatever it is that you need, as long as it has that lightning connector. So if you want a USB, they make a USB-C version of this as well. So if you have one of the USB-C uh, Macs and you want a converter, you can get that. This is a lot of information to take in and do ask questions if you have them down below. But what I'm trying to get across is Basically, three of the four DACs that I'm showing you here can be portable. Now, this Dragonfly is highly, highly recommended. They make different versions of the Dragonfly. I selected this version because it did have the dongle connected to it as a, as a bundle, and I wanted to be able to show you guys how to make these options portable. So here we are. We've got Dragonfly, we've got the dongle that goes into Lightning, so you can plug it into your phone or your iPad, unless it's an iPad Pro that has USB-C or the new one that has uh, USB-C for Thunderbolt, okay? So, the last DAC that we're going to talk about here is something for the gamer in the world. Now, this guy right here, the Epos Sennheiser GSX-1000. I have been a fan of this DAC for quite some time. I have this DAC. I've used this DAC. It is, I purchased it in June, as you can see. And the thing that I like about this is it gives you a lot of gamery type options. It gives you a 7.1 surround sound, 2.1 surround sound. It gives you a lot of different options. It gives you a lot of different sound signatures. It plugs into your computer and it has a mic input as well as a headphone input. Let's see the back here. So you see the mic input, the headphone input, and then an external output for speakers if you want to have external speakers. And then this top this top portion, the, the silver is the volume knob and the control for everything that you use with it. Sennheiser has, uh, has software that you download and you put in there as well. But it will give you the hi-fi audio that you're looking for that lossless audio that you're looking for as well as give you a lot of gaming features that are really great if you are a gamer and you want to take advantage of both apple lossless uh, music as well as have something that you can use for your gaming setup okay so that's the last one of those that I'm going to talk about. Your budget is going to determine what you can afford. Hopefully in this overview, I've given you plenty of stuff that you can think about, that you can use to triangulate a decision. If you want to get involved in taking advantage of the lossless audio, that's going to be coming to Apple Music very, very soon. Do let me know if you have questions down below and I will answer them as best I can. Uh, this is a very deep rabbit hole that you can get into. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, but that is not always as easy as you would hope it would be. So let me know what you, what you think down in the comments. Ask me questions. And until the next time, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. And until that next time, I'm out. Hey there. Now, you might have just finished watching a video where I talked to you about whatever it is that I was talking to you about. And right now, something's gonna pop up here on the screen that's going to show you a video that's in some way related to the topic that I just discussed with you. I recommend that you watch that video. This video, that video, subscribe to the channel with the little button with my picture in it, okay?